guys, this is Andy Chaffield from PTC Optics and Conference Room Systems. I am here today to show you how to um, bring a couple cameras into Wirecast using OnVIF, and then um, we're going to control the cameras using an OnVIF um, device manager. And then we're going to pull in an RTSP stream into Wirecast as well, and a U uh, USB feed. So, first thing we're going to do is open Wirecast. Alright. Now I'm going to go to Sources, uh, Show Source of Settings, and I'm going to just let it populate. It'll find all the OnVIF devices here. We have a couple access security cameras and some other stuff. I want it to find um, the cameras by my desk and the one at Joe's office. So that's the one at my desk. That's the one at Joe's office. This is 111.87. This is 111.85. Um, that is what I have set my IP addresses to be, and it looks like those pulled in just fine. Alright. So, now just to show you guys the OnVIF stuff, I'm going to go down here and add a shot for my desk, and add a shot for Joe's office. Now what I'm going to do, this is a secondary program. It's called OnVIF Device Manager. It's a uh, made by SourceForge, and if you actually just search online OnVIF Device Manager, this should be the first thing that pops up. So what this is going to do is it's going to give you control of those two cameras that you just hooked up. So this is 8.7. I'm going to go to PTZ Control. And it'll give me a live thing here. I can pan my camera around. And you can see it reflected in the, the shot in, um, in Wirecast. I can do the same thing with 111.85, which is the one at my desk. I'm going to go PTZ control. Bam, there it is. I'll scan it over to look at me. There I am. Kind of a fun little, this is a fun little free application that you can use with, with Wirecast to completely control your cameras, PTZ, um, while they're not even the same room as you. So that's always something fun to have to just change your shots, do whatever you need. So, and that will the OnVIF device manager, just like Wirecast, will f automatically find any camera on your that's OnVIF enabled on your network. Um, with the PTZ Optics cameras, you do have to go into the IP interface, as I've shown in my previous video, um, to turn on OnVIF to be able for these programs to be able to see it. So now that I've done that, I am going to now go back to my source settings, and I'm going to bring in an IP stream. Web stream. I am going to do an RTSP stream, a live stream. RTSP semicolon backslash backslash 192.168.111.84 is the camera that is not on VIF enabled. And I want to do port 554 is what these cameras use, and I want to use stream 1. I would like to connect. All right, there's my conference room shot. Uh, just remove this conference room. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to add my conference room shot. So, these are all network uh, devices. These are all network streams. I don't don't have anything connected to these cameras aside from the network cable and power. Now the last one I'm going to add is my actual USB connection from another PTC Optics camera I have above my computer. So that's my actual PTC Optics uh, USB feed. So. As of right now, you can see these are my two OnVIF cameras that if I want to control, I can go to here and start controlling them around. 
I'm my own VIF device manager. You can also go to the IP interface of these cameras. Um, so this, let's go to 8.5, which should be the one by my desk. Admin, admin. And I can also control the PTZ from here. It's a little easier and more intuitive with the on -fifth device manager, though, to be able to switch between cameras and, and do what you need. Um, this IP interface is more for setting the camera settings themselves. So I did mention earlier that you would have to turn on OnVIF to be able to have the programs find these cameras inherently, and that's it right there. OnVIF setting, OnVIF on. You don't need OnVIF authentication on. You can leave that off. You don't need it on, and that should be it. If you do end up changing this and applying it, you have to go back to system and reboot the camera for it to pull through and be good. So that's it as far as um, as far as pulling your camera feeds, uh, network feeds into uh, Wirecast. I believe I've covered most of the basics here. It's I think the IP streaming is 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 by far what this it's this program is best at. Um, but yeah, obviously everything works perfectly, and it's a great program, great cameras, so. I hope this has been informative for you guys. Uh, I will catch you next time.